bad. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's look is a natural makeup look. As you can see, I am natural today and I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this look. Basically, what's going to be happening today is that I'm going to be showing you guys the foundation routine that I always, always, always do. The things that I like about this look is that the first thing is that it is natural. Second thing, it is on my makeup package. Most of you guys know that I am a makeup artist, a self-made makeup artist, and I do people's faces, I beat people's faces. So if you want to do a face beat by me, please don't hesitate to contact me on my social media platforms. I will name them down on my description box. All the looks that I have on my makeup package, eyelashes are inclusive. So you don't need to worry about eyelashes or you're gonna pay more if you have eyelashes, no. There's no need. I hope that you guys do enjoy this video and please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And yes, let's get right into the video. Before you do anything, you need to take care of your skin. You need to do your skincare routine. Your skincare routine should be on lock all the damn time. So before you even apply your foundation and everything, you need to take care of your skin and you need to moisturize your skin. What I use is the Porsche M Anti Blemish Marula Skin Day Cream. This is what I use every day to moisturize my face and yeah guys you need to moisturize your face all the time so one thing you need to do is moisturize your face even if you have oily skin it is very very essential for us to take care of our skin and to moisturize our face because if you don't moisturize your face your face is going to tell itself that mm, it's dry so what does it do it needs to generate more oil and when it generates more oil you're going to have excess oily skin and that is just not okay let us start preparing our face before our foundation so the first thing that we're going to do is apply our primer it is the essence prime plus studio mattifying plus pore minimizing primer with black clay i usually apply my primer on the areas that need the primer I don't apply primer all over my face. I just apply it on my forehead, my nose, and my cheeks because those areas usually get oily when the day goes by. So that's where I need to apply my primer. Next thing that you need to do is to apply your powder on your face so that your face can be mattified and ready for the application of your foundation. This helps the foundation to be clearly applied and it helps the foundation to look flawless when you've applied your powder. That is definitely what we're gonna be doing right now. The powders that I use are, I usually use my baby powder from Kix. This is the powder that I use the most. It acts as a translucent powder. It really mattifies my face and I love using this powder. If I'm not using this powder, I use my translucent powder from Estee Lauder. It is the double wear mineral rich loose powder makeup. This is how it looks. This is the translucent powder that I use on my face. These are the only powders that I use on my face just to prepare my skin, but it really does depend on how I feel. Today I feel like putting baby powder. If I don't use baby powder, then I'll use the Estee Lauder powder, but both powders do the same work. So let's just get right into the application of the powder now after applying my powder i apply my primer spray which is this one and i believe that you can use either or you can use your primer or you can use your spray your sitting spray so this is the la girl primer spray and it preps and hydrates face for makeup so you need to apply this because as it says it hydrates the face i use the primer spray just you know to hydrate my face just before i apply my foundation so that's basically what i do with the spray there's nothing more to it apply your primer first after primer you use a powder after powder you use your setting spray before i even apply my foundation i'm just gonna apply my eyelashes that's definitely what i'm gonna go into right now my foundation 
foundation routine has completely changed i'm going to show you guys how i really do my foundation routine detailed foundation routine and yeah guys let's just get right into it so the first thing that we're going to start with is our concealer i use the la girl pro conceal this is this is just a given i always use this concealer because it's the best i start with my concealer first and then go with my foundation afterwards this is how i apply my foundation <laughs> Give my face a lift. I know I know I know but we're gonna fix that because this is the process of makeup and before it's done it usually looks so bad but we're gonna fix that okay so let's just move on to the next step which is contouring our face with a darker foundation the foundation that I usually use for contouring my face is the passion complete cover liquid foundation it is a dark dark foundation that's what I usually use when I need to contour my face. So let's just do that right now. I still use the Yardley London Stay Fast Foundation because it has been working for me perfect. Leave. i'm just gonna apply my foundation right now you don't need to apply foundation all over your face you just need to apply foundation on the areas that need foundation the most so this is what i'm going to be doing right now so stay tuned <laughs> Cause me day and night I'm sorry girl you just don't make me feel right I never meant to make you cry you were right Just leave me be I'm not gonna put up a fight Now the next thing is for me to apply powder where I applied my concealer Before I used to bake my face but I don't do that anymore because I saw that it is not really necessary We don't need that much amount of powder on your face so I just don't bake anymore because it does not really make a huge difference. my powder and everything my face is set and i'm just ready for my bronzer and also my blush and just to make my face pop because i'm not gonna go out looking like this okay i need to touch up on a few things and then when i come back i am gonna be showing you guys the last look so just do not go away stay here and continue watching so guys i'm done with my look as you can see it is all simple and simple guys like there's nothing much really the only thing popping here is the eyelashes that's it everything is put together it's natural it's everything nice as you can see and i hope that you did enjoy watching this video for those who didn't subscribe at the beginning please do subscribe now because this is the time to subscribe do not leave my video without subscribing and yeah guys i will see you next time bye guys you don't really care to want you to Oh